Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Laughing Boy here, and today I'm going to show you how to be bulletproof in GTA Online. But first, I'm going to show you this stunt that I perfected. And if you believe I did this on purpose, you don't know me very well. But it is pretty anyway. I'm actually going to be expounding on a point that I made in a prior video in my video walkthrough of Rooftop Rumble Solo. This is actually a clip from that. This I'm using in, in this video of course I'm using the adder, which is um, of course, very expensive. I, I believe it's still the most expensive car in the game. But the point is, is that back window, the low profile back window, it's actually more accurately the point is the fact that there's not much to shoot through back there. The, the car, of course, is taking a lot of damage. This one happens to have, uh, of course, this one has as much armor as I can get on it at the time. And bulletproof tires are a definite plus. Other examples, uh, like uh, the Infernus. The Z-Type, of course, is, is not cheap. Now here's the hot knife. In fact, this is one of my favorites. It's a front engine car. It works really well. It's only $90,000. Of course, that's not uh, cheap if you're just starting the game. This one was a surprise. This is a BF injection, or the GTA 5 uh, incarnation of the BF injection. It's only $19,000, and you can find this out you know, running around out in the desert. It works pretty well, surprisingly. I wasn't sure about it, but this is a picture of it after I took it through a rooftop rumble. Solo. Now, I've touched on the fact that the, the front engine cars are better. Of course, the only example that I know of is the hot knife. Now, if you know of any others, uh, please post them in the comment section below. Um, but the, the rear engine cars are technically called mid-engine cars. Do this. They catch fire and explode. The good thing about them is, and when, when doing, if they explode from this, call Moore's Mutual and it's at no charge. Then you pull this menu up and request your personal vehicle and go back to work. Or shooting people or whatever it is you want to call it. <laughs> Have fun. Now I'm kind of going to point out the obvious here. In order for this to work, you have to keep the people that are shooting at you behind you. <laughs> And this method is, of course, really helpful in the rooftop rumble, but it's also helpful in any situation, any combat situation in which you can take your vehicle. The um, gang attacks or any mission that you can take your vehicle in and keep the bad guys behind you is very useful. I hope this has been helpful. Please like and subscribe, and Michael, over to you. Ah, just in case I wasn't having enough fun already. <laughs>